guys, Hoppy Hunting here. Welcome back to another video. So today, Walt and I are out on the river. We're gonna take the dinghy to my hidden creek. So I don't have HMS Arrow with me this time. We won't need her today, but we're gonna take the boat. I really haven't walked this entire creek, so my objective today is pretty much just to explore as much of the creek as I can and see what I can find. So we just got to the launch point. We're putting the boat together and we're gonna head to the creek. And once we walk the creek and dig and sift a little bit, we'll see how we do. And then later in the day, we might hit some beaches on the river as well. So Walt's over at the boat ramp getting the dinghy together so I'm just going to go help him out and then we'll get on the water. Alright, we're in the creek now. The water is super, super high today on the river and at the mouth of the creek. But once we get past these trees here, it's actually pretty low. Very doable and there's some gravel exposed. So we might find something. So we're going to start digging and walk in the creek and I'll see how much of it I can explore. Well, no fossils yet, but that right there looks like a Native American point. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's an arrowhead. Looks a lot like the other one I found last time I was here. Awesome. Now let's see if we can find some shark teeth. I spotted what looks like just half of a meg it's my first shark tooth of the day, and it, I think, is the first meg I've ever found in this creek. Yep, so they're in here. Time to walk further up and see if there are more. I just realized that I misspoke there a second ago. That actually is not the first meg I've found in this creek. I did get the corner of that huge meg uh, a few times ago. So I know they're in here, but I just gotta find a whole one and I gotta find where the teeth are coming out. Looks like a cookie. Yep. So this is an epiphysis, basically the cap of the vertebra of a dolphin. Pretty cool. It's a modern jaw of some sort. Maybe raccoon. I'm really no expert. Uh, but there's a tooth. Of course, a Hystalis. This creek pumps these out like crazy. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is the tooth that I find the most of today. Well, I wish more of it was there, but I know exactly what this is. It's the very end of a baleen whale jaw. I say this all the time, but bone is a very good sign. There could be teeth nearby. Well, I just learned that this clay slick that I've been walking on is the fossiliferous formation, because there's bones sticking out everywhere, and I just pulled this out. A flawless hemi right out of the formation. It's a big one, too. So I can look at the gravel bars in the creek, but I'm also going to look at the clay slick because if I could pull a big tooth out of this, it would be perfect. Guys, this is actually insane. Look at this. Just sticking in the side. There's a vert, rib or jaw, another little vert, another bone of some sort, another one. There's literally five bones. There's another vert. This is insane. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's gorgeous. All right, so I think I've reached the point in the creek where I'm going to turn around. It looks like it's going to be a lot harder to go farther up, and I'm not finding much just laying out. But I'm going to head back to that part of the clay slick where there were just bones sticking out, and I pulled out that hemi, and see if I can find more teeth sticking out. I haven't really been filming myself dig them out, but look how many bones I have so far. They're just everywhere. I just spotted this. Hard to see, but it's, I think, a baleen whale jaw, and I just poked in here, and I can feel it, so I don't know how much of it there is, but I'm going to try to dig it out. Hopefully there's a lot of it. And here it is. <sighs> wow. How crazy is that? 
I had no idea there were so many bones in this clay slick. But now I'm just finding them left and right. All right, guys, so I think I picked out most of the bones that were sticking out of the formation. Here's what I got. And so I'm really not finding any teeth sticking out, unfortunately. And Walt is headed back towards the boat. So the plan is we're going to go to another part of the river where there might be some beaches exposed that we might be able to sift on or even just walk. The water's really high, so I don't know if there will be beach, but that's the plan anyway. So I'm going to get the stuff together, start walking down the creek, and maybe along the way I might dig a little bit and see if I can get one more good tooth before we leave the creek. This bag is so heavy. It feels like I'm hauling a backpack full of bricks down this creek. <laughs> the walk back is going to be a lot harder than the walk up was. I've only done a few scoops, but I've got a tooth. Another Hestalis. No surprise for this creek. It's a nice one though. As I was scooping this shovel full, I spotted this little tooth. There it is. Uh, beautiful Hemi. All right guys, so we're finishing up at the creek. We're about to take the boat and go hit some other beaches and maybe do some digging and sifting. And if the water's low enough, we might walk the beach and we'll see what we can find. Haven't found anything by digging and sifting yet, but that's a really nice tooth right there. Just laying up here in the high and dry. Can you see it? Really pretty Histalis. Wow. That color is perfect. That's a gorgeous tooth. All right, so that was about the extent of what I found on the beaches, but it's all good. I did really well in the creek. So we just got back to the boat ramp. We're taking the boat apart, gonna throw it in the car, and then I'm gonna head home. And once I get back, I will show you guys everything I found today. All right, guys, I'm back home. So let's go over the finds from today. We'll start over here with the teeth and then move on over to the bones. So we have this perfect Hemi, or Hemipristis cera, the snaggletooth shark. I pulled this tooth right out of the formation where the bones were coming out. And it's really cool because you can actually see the part that was exposed, this dark part here. That corner is all that I could see. And then I pulled out the rest of the tooth. And this is what happens when you pull them straight out of the formation. They're just absolutely flawless. Such an awesome tooth. And then I have this half meg, another piece of a meg, lots of smaller teeth. That's a lower hemipristis tooth. And I got this nice white Hestalis or extinct white shark tooth. This was on the river. It's pretty much the only thing I found on those beaches, but it's fine because I found quite a bit in the creek, including my first find of the day, this Native American point or arrowhead. And in my last video, where I found an arrowhead, I got a lot of comments telling me it was probably not a spear point, it probably was an arrowhead or maybe a knife point or something. I really am not an expert on artifacts, so if any of you guys have any insight about this point, please let me know in the comments below if you know maybe it's possible age or what it might have been used for. I'd really appreciate that. Now on to all the bones that I found today. I finally located the part of the creek where all of these bones and teeth are washing out of. So I took a ton of bones out today. They're almost all dolphin and whale vertebrae, some rib and jaw pieces, but I'll show you guys some of the nicest stuff. This is a beautiful little dolphin vert. It actually has the neural arch and process, which is almost always broken off of verts because they're very fragile. So this is, Pretty rare to find one intact like this. So this is actually a modern bone that I found in the creek today. It's from a deer, and it's an ankle bone called an astragalus. And only in artiodactyls, which are deer, hippos, cows, etc., does the astragalus have this kind of double pulley morphology. But some of the earliest cetacean or whale and dolphin fossils have a double pulley astragalus. So this is actually how we were able to tell that cetaceans, whales and dolphins, evolved from artiodactyl ancestors. So I don't usually keep modern bones like this, but since this one's significant to cetacean evolution, which is what I want to study, I figured I'd hang on to it. Uh, this was a really nice caudal vert, and again you can see the part that was exposed in the creek because it's all dark, 
from being exposed and to the running water and the dirt. So this dark part is what I saw, and I took out the rest. And it's actually pretty much complete. It's a really nice one. This is also a caudal vert, which means it's part of the tail, but it's farther back towards the tip of the tail, probably from a small baleen whale. Then I got this huge slab of either rib or jaw, probably rib, uh, and it came out in two pieces, but I actually glued it back together. And it actually has some bite marks on there. I don't know how well you can see in the camera, but it looks like evidence of predation, which is really cool. Then this is a big chunk of what I thought was jaw, but I'm pretty sure it's actually a big piece of rib from a baleen whale. Just the end of it was sticking out, and I dug out this big hunk of bone. That's pretty cool. So now that I know where all these bones and teeth are washing out of in that creek, hopefully the next time I go back, I can spend a lot of time searching that clay slick and hopefully finding a lot of bones and teeth sticking out of there and maybe pull out some really pristine stuff. But I'm really happy with how I did today. All right guys, so that'll do it for this video. Remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers on this channel, which is super exciting. So please hit subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Hoppy hunting.